Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new vlog. Nice to have you if this is the first time you're clicking on this video and seeing my face. I am Chanel, the Living Dolly. Thank you so much for stopping by and if you are a returning subby, what's up babe? Thank you so much for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look. I ran a poll on my Instagram yesterday yeah and i asked you all if you all be interested to see this purple look because i got a quite a number of requests on youtube as well as on tiktok so i said you know what i haven't played in makeup in a little bit on my channel so i decided to give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of how quick and easy it is hear my voice easy <laughs> it is to get this eye look it literally only took me less than 10 minutes but then again i've been doing this you know for a while but anyway basically no matter how much of a beginner you are in makeup or if you're a pro this look is super cute and easy and will look great on any skin tone it is just bomb but how we feel about this hair though i was trying to go with a little like a 90s style kind of thing but i don't know like did i get it i don't know <laughs> but yeah if it is you do enjoy this video don't forget to smash the like button be sure to subscribe if you have not already if you want to see more makeup on this channel let me know because you know your girl loves makeup so any excuse to do it i am all down right <laughs> okay so if it is you want to see more let me know all right so let me not ramble too much because i like to talk and let's get straight into the video i love this look to create this eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using one palette. I'm going to be getting into my Jaclyn Hill, my dirty looking Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. You do not need to use this palette. All you really need is to have a warm brown, an orange, and two purple shades, right? This one, excuse how messy it's going to look, but yeah, this one is one that I love because I mean, clearly you can see how messy it is, right? That's just the way that it is when it comes to makeup. But in almost all of my looks, I always use an orange or like a warm brown or a combination of both in my crease area. The crease meaning this area right here, right? And for that, I would use one brush. Let me show you how quick and easy it is to give you like the best blend in your crease. This brush, by the way, is from ColourPop Cosmetics. It's extremely old. I have this more than four or five years now and also a really great brush set to get would be the shop kenzie beauty they have great brushes for your face and your eyes for 150 for a 14 piece eye and face brush set right so the first step i'm going to be doing is dipping it into this orange color you can tell how often i use it because i hit pan these are like my favorites right here right so i hit pan and i am praying that it lasts but anyway so we're using this orange here yes it looks a little bit bright but do not worry with all the blending it is going to just seamlessly give us the look that we want so i am going to be just gently sweeping that color on windshield wiper motions like on a car back and forth quick and easy wasn't even a minute right i'm going to do the same thing on the other eyelid right in the center here of my eyes back and forth and i'm not going high high all the way up here to my brow and i'm not going low like on my eyelid itself i'm just staying in the center here this area is called your crease Put a little bit you just want to be able to have a little bit of this orange peeking through when it is we have our eye look it's always wise to get a orange color and a warm brown color because those are the colors that look really well especially on brown skin tones whether you are lighter than me or whether you are darker than me it really does do wonders trust me so next up with the very same blending brush yes it still has a little bit of product but it's not going to do any damage because this color is a little bit darker so I'm just going to take a little bit of this kind of like a burnt orange or like a warm brown shade see you deepened it up a bit and I am focusing it at the side here the outer edge of my eyes 
Notice I'm not in the middle, I'm not in the beginning. I'm just at the side right here, the outer edge, the outer third, right? So I'm just kind of dabbing it a little bit and bringing it a little bit in, just a little bit. So you can see it a little bit at the side there peeking through. This is not the main color. So we just want this to make sure that everything blends seamlessly. So I'm gonna do it again on the other side, right? Back at the outer third, just dabbing it. If you need a little bit more, just dip a little bit more, tap off the excess if it's too much on your brush, but mine is not that much because you know, I hit pan, but anyway. So next up, I'm gonna be using a clean blending brush. This one is from Shop Kenzie Beauty. Like I told you all, some of the best brushes I've ever used before. It just has a little bit of a fuzzy top, right? So it's easy for you to blend out your shades. So I'm going back into this very same palette with this purple right here, right? And I'm dipping it, swirling it around. I'm not using a lot. As you can see, it's not all over the brush, just at the top. And I'm coming right at the side where we put that burnt orange and just dabbing it in that way. So this is going to help set up for our lighter color. Just dab it. Take your time. And you can bring it in a little bit almost to the middle of your eye because we just want to be able to see the definition between the lighter pinkish purple color and this darker okay. color. So for this step, I am going to be taking the flip side. This is my Shop Kenzie Spoolie. It comes with a concealer brush at the side. And yes, it does have a little bit of product remaining. Sometimes you can just use whatever is remaining on the brush side of the spoolie or you can just add a little bit more emphasis on a little we do not want too much right oh i'm running out of concealer oh. okay here we go right i'm not going to be using all this so don't worry i'm just getting at the tip right here right and i'm going to be going in the direction sorry in the shape of a half moon so i'm starting off here I'm just going in the shape of a half moon joining over to that purple if you need more just take a little dip and cover up the areas that are empty right that you could still see a little bit so next skin. i'm going to be using this flat eyelid brush right this is going to put the shadow right where we want it it's better to use if it is you want more of a precise look a brush than your fingers it depends on what color you're going to be using on your eyelid if it is you are going to use like a shimmery gold or something you can probably get away with using your fingers i personally am a little bit you know slow using my nails so yeah a brush is going to give me more of a precise look that i want right so i'm going into this kind of lilac color here i want to pick up as much as i can covering the brush where it is I wanted. Look at that color, gorgeous, right? Oh my gosh, I love it. And I'm just going to be tapping, tapping that color on to that concealer. Just tap it. Going back in and tapping it. And now I'm going back into this purple right here and I'm just going to connect the two of them, you know, sisters together. If you want, you can kind of bring this color a little bit up this way. I like how that looks. And to darken it up a little bit so that it has more definition, I'm going in with this darker shade purple here. Right, so as you can see, it's darker. And I'm just gonna be placing it right at the edge. Because I want it to come from light into dark. So it's right at the edge on both sides. I 
Okay guys, so I already did my concealer and set it and everything. I'm very much pleased. But anyway, <laughs> we are going to go in with the darker color with a pointy brush, right? And we're just gonna sweep it under, well, on our waterline. Nice and gentle. I did not take a lot because I'm gonna build up the product because I don't wanna use any setting powder. You can if it is you need to, but I personally don't want to because I don't want the creasing. Right, so I put it under there, right on my waterline. And now I'm gonna take a very thin pointy brush, a thinner one than what it is we used just now. This one is from shop Kenzie Beauty. And I'm gonna go in with the purpley, with the lighter purple. Top of the excess, like this much, and just sweeping it under there. Just sweep it under. Okay guys, this is essentially how the look came out. I decided to go in with a little bit of a white, but I just realized it's the wrong one. I was trying to go with this one instead, All right? This is gonna come out with a little bit of a pinkish tone as far as I remember. So let's put it in the inner corner like that. Now you could go in with a gold if you prefer that, nothing is wrong with that. See, gives me a little bit of a pink top. So I prefer that than this kind of chalk dust looking one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. Now you could have just left it, you know, with no inner corner highlight. That is also very cute, but y'all know I like to be extra. So I wanted to just put a little pop. Like that. <laughs> Take your spotlight. 